What's up, y'all? Got a film of the fee, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Crystal mad after being caught with Jazz. Let's get it. Previously, I spoke on Jazz and Crystal being spotted out at the club together. Now, if you guys didn't know, Jazz allegedly had a girlfriend named India. Not sure what happened there or if they broke up, but people are assuming that Jazz and Crystal may be messing around while Jazz is still talking to India. Someone tweets Crystal and states, what goes on in the dark will come to light. You can't- I ain't F strap and strap since a strap. What? I ain't F a strap since a strap effed me. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, when it's cameras Yo. watching your every move, hun. <laughs> Sharing the strap is crazy work. Crystal states, I ain't have a strap since a strap effed me. Then she states, and if I was, you think I'll be sharing it? Be so for real. Everything be so funny to me. The old me probably would have been cussing y'all out. So now that's what Crystal had to say about being caught out with jazz. But now let's move on to this next topic with Big Boogie and Carmen. Now one of Big Boogie's alleged ex-girlfriends went on to the Tasha K show to expose Boogie and some of his dealings. So Big Boogie is publicly with Carmen Pritchett. What, for publicity? Is it publicity? Come on now. Is she even divorced yet? And are we gotta they in ask a relationship? Corey. I mean, they not trying to get married though. We have to ask Corey. I'm going to have to call Corey up and see how he feels about it. Now, He's you know, laughing at it. He's laughing at it. Um, why, you, why is Corey laughing at it? I guess uh, Not someone I guess. in the vlogs on YouTube, um, I guess she do a podcast too, and she made up her own little scenario of the situation between me and him, mm -hmm. the girlfriend, Carmen. It's a lot of girls in the circle. Mm -hmm. um, but you the main one. No, I wasn't the main one. That's obvious. <laughs> I, I was the top notch one. Like, so what do you I mean was, top notch? What the fuck is the difference? So he had, he had a girlfriend at home, but like like nobody knows the girlfriend. Nobody never sees the girlfriend. He's never public with the girlfriend, but everybody else can go public with him, can go to shows with him, can post up with him. He care about that one that he wasn't showing, guarantee. So it was like, what kind of damn lifestyle is this? <laughs> she been around for a long time. I give that to her. She been around. She be holding it down. I would never do that personally. But yeah, she been around through when he had his baby. Um, it was multiple girls. But I want to rewind it back. Like yeah, when I first a, met him. Yeah, talk about um, that. When did you We were just with friends. Him? So um, I think I got invited to a video shoot. They wanted me to do the video shoot. Okay. I got to the video shoot. And it wasn't it for me, for my mm -hmm. standards. Mm -hmm. So I didn't do the video shoot. I just played on the side or whatever. Mm -hmm. But we didn't really conversate like that. And then after a while, like, you know, we just got close and close. And then July 4th of 2022, that's when um, he made his advance. And we started talking. He was like, he wanted me to himself. And I was like, but your girlfriend, he was like, oh, well, she not really a factor. And, you know, if you gonna be my down my down bitch then that's mine for life quote unquote his words so me like i ain't gonna lie i was feeling him after the months went past so like i i, I was with it mm -hmm. you know i never been nobody savage put that out there but it was different with him it was a different vibe with him like we was because he got money Nah, never. So Jessica and Reed shocked the internet after they announced that they got engaged and got married all in the same day. She states, just got married. Now, people were stating that Jessica and Reed got married because Jessica is now pregnant. Now, these rumors are coming from the wedding photos. People are stating that Jessica appears to have a pudge there that may mean that she's pregnant. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know why they got to get the dresses extra small, but you can tell not that she isn't pregnant, but you can tell that that dress is so tight with this little back strap. It's like digging in her skin. You know what I'm saying? Well, not only that, tight she's as also hell. being exposed by a guy that she was dating. Don't get me wrong. She could potentially be, you know, Pregnant, but I don't think so. Right before she got back with Reed. Now, his sister posts up some photos with her brother and Jessica and said, I'm just the messenger. She ate, though. So now, allegedly, Jessica was talking to this guy like a week before she got back with Reed. Someone states, in her defense, she had ended one relationship before getting into another. 
Maybe that's what she needed to realize her first guy was more her speed. The girl responds back with, no, she just went ghost. Then like two days later, Reed posted her. So now you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below. But Jessica did go on to TikTok to answer a few questions about her getting married, as well as is she really so this pregnant? Is three carrots and this is a pear pear cut. Hello. I don't know what cut she's so in. So cute. No guys, we are not planning on having kids. Okay, we're still young and people think because they see my pictures today, they see a little freaking thing, a pudge because my dress was so tight. I'm sorry, y'all. She be sounding 12. Like, you know, a lot of them are young and I can deal with it. I can. This one, she just sound like she's like 10. I can't do it. She just sound like a little baby. What you drink? Is that a monster? And she has the right to sound like a, her age. I, I just got, my ears can't handle it. <laughs> just, like, <laughs> it was only thing and then he put it over there and then, that's just what she sound like. That's nice. This was nice. Don't get me wrong, this is very nice. I just, that's their life. Let me mute this. That's their life. So, you know what I'm saying? They can do their big one or whatever. But, like, it's just kind of weird how she drove 40 hours. I would never forget a three-hour drive. I would always be like, I drove three hours. You know what I'm saying? So a 40-hour drive, I would just never, ever forget. Never. But... Girl, it's something about it, something about them that they love about one another, all right? And they're going to do what it is that they need to do, how they need to do it, so they can do it for each other, okay? So that's just kind of where I'm at. They did look cute. Um, uh, the rings is ringing. The smiles are smiling, and the chirp, the birds were singing. You get what I'm saying? Um, but that's all I got. I hope we don't have a divorce story soon. Or they be on the internet showing their ass, or God forbid, anything else to happen. 40 mile drives, 40 hour drives. I just hope that they get it, you know, what it is they need out of the whole, whole situation. Okay. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Um, yeah. Bye.